Welcome back to Teach A Man To Fish channel. Today's video is going to be the unboxing of a Lodge Blossom Collection Dutch oven. This is an enamel Dutch oven, short run. They're not gonna be making this forever. I kind of dug the color of it. I've got several different types of Dutch ovens. This is another Lodge, not footed, five quart. And I've got this one that's actually a three foot, three foot Dutch oven that's made to cook with the coals. We've got videos of cooking with all these other types of Dutch ovens. This is my first enameled. I'm not going high end, I'm not buying Le Creuset. Maybe someday I will. If enough of you get on my Patreon and support me, I could end up with a Le Creuset and do a review of that. But for now, I'm low budget and this Lodge Blossom collection is on sale right now. Um, I hope as you're watching this video that you can find one or you go out on eBay or you're looking in thrift stores and, or garage sales and these are existing out there. Here you can see I bought the Sage Enamel Cast Iron. It's the Lodge four and a half quart Dutch oven because as a retired Army Reservist, that's the closest to OD Green, which is my favorite color. It's in my blood, what are you gonna do? Let's go ahead and do the unboxing. I'm gonna keep this lodge close by and handy because we can do some cross comparisons between the two, see what lodge did with it that might be different. Nicely packaged, I'd say. And this is coming from China, which is unique for Lodge. For whatever reason, they chose to, to make this in China. We've got one split right here in the box, which I would say came from, yeah, pushing out. Something happened where the box slid over this way and pushed out, but otherwise, pretty good shape. There's another. <laughs> Another bit of damage here, uh, another wallop taken. So now I'm getting kind of curious. That's two hits on this box. That is, you can see right here from the handle, uh, I don't know if you can make that out inside the box, but just in that area, that handle punctured through this portion of the box. Again, let's see what it looks like. Comes with a manual, things to know beforehand, in case you speak Spanish, it's in Spanish too. All right, got a nice cream color on the interior enamel. No chips, smooth, looks good. Stainless steel knob, one of the first things I notice. All these others, they, they can also come in plastic where you have the option of getting the stainless. Apparently, stainless comes standard with this Lodge Dutch oven. Little imperfection in the casting right in that area. We'll see if we do a couple of different angles, you can see that. But I'm not gonna complain about that, it's cast iron. Just worth noting. So back to the handle, you can get these in plastic. They're rated up to 500 degrees and who really cooks over 500 degrees? Anyhow, this one has the stainless. Comes with the lid protectors. I will probably save those for when it's in storage. You can set that on there won't be clanking uh, or getting the wear and tear or running the risk of chipping your enamel around these edges. All right, some differences in what I see in this. It's a very rounded bottom versus a straight wall. And again, this is why I brought, kept this one here. Here you can see that this is a very flat, uh, shallow edge on this Dutch oven, which makes for a larger browning surface. Uh, to work with, as well as a bit deeper of walls. Handles, very narrow. This one you can get all your fingers in. This one I can only get three of my fingers in through there. Casting looks good, not a lot of imperfections. Good weight to it. I like the feel of a heavy cast iron pot. And being my first enamel, I'm looking forward to doing some of my acidic cooking in this. There will be videos in the future where you can come back and check out the use of this Dutch oven. You have to be careful with some of your tomato-based and your acidic long cooks in 
other cast irons because it will ruin your seasoning and basically damage it or take it away and you're, you're spending some time having to recover from the damaged seasoning. This one requires none of that seasoning effort. You get the benefit of the heat retention, the ease of cleaning, and the longevity that comes with this enameled cast iron. I know I'm excited about getting it. So YouTube says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits. And this playlist is my other cast iron, Dutch oven, all of that cooking is available on that playlist. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.